Hello everybody, this is a review of the uh, Victory Knox Fieldmaster. Here's the box that came in, nice silver box. And I bought this knife because I, I liked the, all the features that it had. It had the, the saw and the scissor, which is kind of important to me. Uh, and of course the ubiquitous uh, can opener. Got to have that. I mean, this is great if you're going out in the field and you're going to go camping. Uh, so I think it's perfect for that because, I mean, you can, you know, you get your typical blade is a razor sharp so, because it's new. So you got to be careful what I'm doing here. I'll just open up all the, the features. Here's a, a good old scissor. Another great tool to have. And... Getting, the only thing I don't like is getting out the saw is kind of a pain in the ass. <clears throat> because, it's unless you got long fingernails, it's kind of a pain. They should have, uh, put a, you know how they normally have this little notch here. So you can grip it, or use your fingernail and you can pull out. There's not one of the saw blade. And then, you see, you kind of have to, uh, Tim and a haw to get that out of there. Oh, come on. It's going to be a pain. Let's see here. Am I doing this bass backwards here? Now, either way, it's a pain. There it goes. Right there. There is no area for your fingernail. Instead of me going on the joint end here. Um, but still, either way, it's a pain. So you have to get your fingernail underneath there and pull up. So you can get it out, you know. I wish they would put a little notch right there so you can get it grab it with your fingernail. Otherwise, if you do not have fingernails, as you can see, hopefully I'm, just, I'm experimenting with my Nikon video camera. I've never used it for YouTube videos, so I figured I'll give it a try. Uh, is let me fold this guy in. I'm gonna slice myself. Is if you don't have fingernails, you're gonna have a hard time. I guess you could take the toothpick and try to wedge and pull it up. That's not that big a deal. Let's see, they put a little notch in there. They, no, not really. Um, otherwise, it's great. You know, just no. I would uh, probably put a notch there to catch your finger, so that right there you could just lift up. You know, instead of that. But all in all, you know, we're talking about very high quality device here is a good tool a lot of multiple things on here it's a little stiff here mm, boy there you go and on the back side of course we have the screwdriver gonna have that here's the the hook Also kind of difficult to grasp. This is new, so all the things are kind of stiff. And of course the the paw, or not the paw, but the all the you know, dig in the hole. See, I'm gonna have the oil, I clean the oil. Yeah. Off of this. And of course, you know, the toothpick and the tweezer, which is a extremely good tool to have. I being an auto mechanic, I've had uh, like slivers getting skin, or even I've had a pull off of an eye before. And these are about the only things that are small and precise enough to grip and then pull out. Most of the tweezers are kind of bulky. But these have a small point, so, so they saved me some uh, some hassles. All right, well, I guess that's it for the review of this. I'm gonna experiment see how this camera works as far as uh, using for YouTube videos doesn't work very well of course I'll dig at the other camera and uh, use that one but yep this is brand new I like it because of the, all the features it's a little bit thicker than what I normally would carry you know, as you can see here we're talking one two three four rows and normally uh, we carry something like this with two rows this is an old knife I had or on my keychain 
this little guy here, the classic SD. It's tiny, but it's, you know, at least you have it with you and you have that important tweezer. Alright, well that's it for this video. I'm going to put it on uh, YouTube and I'm going to see how well this camera's worked out. Okay, enjoy the video. Once again, if you want to see what the box is, here's the box. Uh, one thing uh, I know, uh, before I forget, some people complained that they were getting their knives scratched. Mine arrived fine, what it is. You know, let's see, here's the thickness of the box, too. The thing I, got, I guess, uh, you know, 30, 40 years ago, when I used to buy these. They were in a separate tray, so it was more snug fit. I guess they should wrap it in a plastic bag, a small bag. Help keep in depending on our particular. Now, these are going to scratch up real fast with me, anyways. I mean, it's just a tool. So, I mean, it's a you know, expendable tool that you use, and when you break it or wear it out, you just get another one. And I mean, they're inexpensive but well made. Okay, enjoy the video.